Time for some playoff lacrosse between two local teams as the Valley takes on Naperville Central in a sectional first round matchup. The Valley took down Central in this same game last year and is looking to do it again. It's also the first time that the Red Hawks are hosting a playoff game since 2017. About 20 seconds into the game, Jack Owen creates something on his own. He slashes through three Red Hawks and records the first goal of the night. The Valley is now up 3-0 here and will add on to that as it's once again Owen charging from behind the net. They extend their lead to 4-0 with just under four minutes left in the first. Naperville Central is searching for its first goal on the night. A pass gets inside to Brody Oswald who underhands a shot to the back of the net. The Red Hawks get on the board. A couple of minutes later, Brock Culberson passes one off to Owen who works the ball back to Culberson. He rips one from distance and goes top cheddar for the goal. The Valley now leads 5-1. Declan Burke makes a move around the defender and heads in on goal. He fires one from a tough angle but puts some major power on the shot and gets the goal. Central still trails 5-2. Owen dishes one off to Trent Selby who hesitates and makes a move around the Red Hawk defender. Selby breaks through two Red Hawks and scores to give the Valley a 6-2 lead to end the first. Owen once again causing chaos from behind the goal here. He backs into a Red Hawk defender and muscles his way in to score this one. It's his fourth goal of the game and brings the Valley lead to 8-2. Culberson taking this one all the way from near midfield. He sends a leaping running shot and it's too much to handle for the Red Hawk goalie. Culberson's goal gives the Valley a 9-2 lead into halftime. Freshman Cale Brigante avoids not just one but two defenders as he squeezes between both. He fires away and gets the bouncing shot to go in. Brigante records his second goal of the night. The Red Hawks are trying to find some momentum late in the third quarter. Grayson Hale gets the pass and is able to give Central its first goal since the first quarter. Goalie Braden Mako gets the save here, but here comes Owen from behind the goal. He runs in and ultimately puts the game away for the Valley. Owen celebrates with his teammates and counts to six as he scored six goals on the night. The Valley defeats Naperville Central 14-8 and will play number one C Bennett Academy on Monday. For me, it's a big accomplishment. Uh, I feel that we all worked well as a team. Uh, we were clicking today. I mean, uh, last time we came here, we just didn't have the energy, but this, this today, we just had the energy. Mm -hmm. So I feel like our team was fired up. We were definitely uh, we were playing well on defense. We are moving the ball well on offense. I thought that we played a much better game than we did last time. I mean, I felt like, I felt like we came out with energy. You know, we were hyped, got a couple quick goals in. That's what kind of built the momentum to finish our game like that, and our face-off percentage was pretty high, so that's helped us, helped us a lot.